Richard Bakken, a university professor, did a study where he looked at the different world religions and the concentration of where the adherents to those religions live. And here's what he found. He found that that 90% of people who adhere to Islam, Muslims, live in one area of the world, North Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia, all connected in that one part of the world. He looked at the, the Hindu religion and, and he found that 94% of Hindus live in India and the rest kind of live in the surrounding area. He studied Buddhism and he found that 95% of Buddhists live in Asia. But he found something unique when it came to studying Christianity. He found that, that 20% of Christians live in Asia and that number is growing rapidly. He found that 25% live in Africa and that number is also growing rapidly. He found that 25% live in Europe. And he found that, that about a third of Christians live in one of the Americas, North or South, and, and the smaller percentage of that was North America, actually. And so in observing that, it was pretty obvious that, that all of these other world religions had a, a very concentrated area of the world where their adherents live. But Christianity spanned the globe, and the proportions were pretty level. They are pretty even. And he came to this conclusion. He said, almost certainly, Christianity displays more cultural diversity than any other religion. Christianity is the most culturally flexible of all of the religions, and there's a very good reason for that. Christianity actually satisfactorily takes care of the world's biggest problem. That is sin. Everybody is born into sin. Everybody sins. And this is a problem for everyone that has ever lived on the earth. None of the other world religions satisfactorily takes care of sin. Most of the other world religions uh, put forth a works righteousness system. They look different in different cultures, but, but it's all works righteousness at its very base level. Christianity is the only one that, that offers salvation through grace alone. Christianity is the only one that solves the problem of sin and it does it through Jesus through God sending his son and sacrificing his son for the sins of the entire world. God didn't send his son for just one race. He didn't send it for just women. He didn't send it for just men. He didn't send his son for, for just one age group or one area of the country. God sent his son to, to die on the cross for the sins of the entire world. That's what he says in, in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That's why when, when Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, was talking to the disciples, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. Because, as 1 Timothy 2, 4 says, God wants all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. What Christianity does is it solves the universal problem and it, it gives the person, the individual, an identity that goes above any other identity. It's an identity that supersedes race, gender, age, any other sort of identity that you might claim. Christianity, being found in Christ, goes above all of those and supersedes those. God gives you a new identity in Christ.